Hi friends, this is Eliza back with another Counseling Conversations and today we are talking about discouragement. Discouragement is something that everyone has felt at one time or another, but there are some times that people go through dif different seasons of discouragement. Sometimes it's not just a discouraging day or a situation, but a whole season. And I think right now, being in the winter months that we are in, that can be very common. And I wanna speak to uh, what you can do if you find yourself in these colder, darker winter months, uh, feeling the cold or the darkness, even not just around you in your environment, but like in your soul and in your spirit. First, I wanna encourage you that it is normal to have seasons of discouragement. Everybody has, but when I say that it's normal, I don't want you to hear me saying, you just have to accept it. There's nothing really you can do about it. It's just normal. It's about, that's what it means to be a human. Um, what I do wanna tell you though is, while it's normal, common, there is a few things or a couple things that I wanna point you to if you find yourself in a season of discouragement. And the first thing I want to point you to is our Savior, Jesus. In Isaiah 53, it says that he was a man of sorrows. That That is a description of who he is. And then it goes on to say that he was acquainted with grief. That means he knew it. He understood it. He was familiar with it. He was accustomed to it. So sorrow, discouragement, sadness was something that Jesus felt. And if Jesus felt that, or Jesus went through seasons of that, or experienced that, we can know then that there is a way to go through seasons of discouragement that isn't sinful. It doesn't necessarily equal there must be sin in our lives. Now, it's certainly good to explore what is going on in our hearts, but it doesn't have to mean that. And it also gives us the encouragement that if Jesus went through seasons of discouragement and didn't sin, we can too. And I want to look at how he did that. And it comes from one of the, um, one of my favorite passages or books in the Bible, which is Hebrews. There's a lot of that are my favorite, but this one is, this one is probably one of my favorites. Um, Hebrews 12. And let me just read it to you. It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings to us so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. And here's how we do it. Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus went through discouraging situations by looking to the Father and trusting in the promises of the joy that was that was to come. And in, in a really applicable way, that helps us as we go through difficult times to look to God and the promises that are sure in him. But it also teaches us something else in this passage. It says that looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith. So our faith is not dependent on how we feel. Our faith is founded and perfected in Jesus. So in seasons of discouragement, we don't have to worry that our faith is, is in our own hands, if you will. So lean on him. Use this passage as a reminder, not just to look to the promises of God, but to remember that Jesus is with you in those seasons of discouragement. Which also leads me to the second thing I just want to share with you if you are going through a season of discouragement. And it's also in the book of Hebrews in chapter 7. And what it this tells us is that not only is Jesus with you, but listen to the promise that we have from chapter seven, verse 25, speaking about Jesus. It says this, consequently, he, Jesus, is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. Jesus prays for you. Not only is he with you during seasons of discouragement, but he prays for you. Wow. That is is very encouraging. So on those dark days, not just the dark days when we don't have a lot of sunlight, but on those dark days where the thoughts feel heavy, remember that your Savior prays for you. And in light of that, I just want to pray for you right now. So will you pray with me for, for yourself or for anybody who's experiencing a season of discouragement? Father, we just pray and ask 
that you would make these promises true in our, our lives and the lives of those who need it so much this day. Father, would you be the lifter of our heads on the dark days? Would you be the comforter of our soul? And thank you for Jesus, who not only authored our faith, but perfects it and prays for us. And we hold on to that in hope. In Jesus' name, amen.